All right, thank you, Alex. At ISU, student counseling services are offering a supportive space for students to process the loss of Jelani Day. A.J. Douglas spoke to students and faculty. A lot of us were somewhat expecting, but just really hoping that it wasn't the case. After Jelani Day's body was positively identified, students have mixed feelings about the case. You're just very curious of what exactly happened, and you just have a lot of questions, and you know you want answers, and you know the police, and you know nobody can really give those at this time, which is makes it just super hard. And ISU Student Counseling Services and the Multicultural Center have partnered to offer a community space for students to grieve. There is a lot of emotions that go into this, uh, and these kinds of things can impact uh, all of us in different ways and often at times that we don't uh, expect them uh, to hit us. Mental health services are available to students year-round, but the university understands that during these times, students may need extra help dealing with their emotions while managing their already stressful school schedule. Providing that uh, year-round is, is important, uh, but certainly in a time uh, of, of great difficulty like this, having this extra availability on just a walk-in basis is very important. The open supportive space will be available to students until 9 o'clock tonight. Students are available to contact the Student Counseling Center for all additional mental health needs. In Normal, I'm A.J. Douglas reporting for 25 News.